Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, what should a cat's nipples look like? Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Normal cat's nipples are small and pink, but they shouldn't be prominent unless the cat's pregnant. While a cat carries her litter, the nipples may become plumper and brighter in color. However, if your cat isn't pregnant or in heat, the presence of a swollen cyst can sometimes be a sign of mammary cancer or mastitis. Before we talk about appearance, let's first talk numbers. On average, cats can have anywhere from 2 to 10 nipples, and the number is typically even. And while nipples are more advantageous for female cats for the most obvious of reasons, the actual number is very important because this is a clear indicator of how many she can nurse at the same time. And since the average litter is between two and five, having at least six nipples can ensure that no kitten goes hungry. In terms of appearance, normal and healthy nipples, regardless of age and gender, are very small, pink in color, and a bit bumpy. In fact, they look a lot like pimples. Of course, they can be quite difficult to locate as they're covered in fur. This is especially true for males. The appearance of nipple irritation can be a sign of ill health. Be mindful of a crusty and or chapped appearance and the formation of sores around the nipples. These are all potential signs of infection. Cats that have recently given birth could pass an infection to their young while nursing. If your cat's nipples are swollen and quite visible, even under a thick coat of fur, there are typically three notable causes at play. Number one, pregnancy or in heat. This is normal and natural, as the nipples, for this reason, should be very pronounced. Number two, mastitis, which is due to an inflamed breast caused by a bacterial infection that prevents a cat from lactating. Signs include the inability to express milk, discolored milk, lethargy, fever, loss of appetite, dehydration, and the rejection of kittens due to the pain of nursing. Professional care will be required to treat this condition. And finally, number three, mammary cancer. This is often a risk to mature, unspayed females. Sores and bleeding from the nipples, foul odor, excessive grooming. Lethargy and the loss of appetite are all potential signs as a collective of mammary cancer. It should be noted that it's not uncommon for female nipples to appear sore. This is natural when a cat is nursing. Kittens can, shall we say, get a bit rough at times. This can include biting and even scratching, leading to soreness and even tiny abrasions. This is not to be confused with the aforementioned mastitis. And speaking of soreness, the same can happen to male felines. It's not uncommon for kittens to attempt to feed on a male. While cat colonies comprised largely of females often take turns feeding their young, kittens are inclined to latch on to most anything at that stage in life. This can cause a male cat's nipples to become sore and even bleed. Fur loss around the nipples is not natural. If this does occur, fleas or mites could be to blame, although it is a bit rare for bites to happen in this location. Another explanation could be psychogenic alopecia. This is a form of self-trauma and overgrooming. Cats that are severely stressed and anxious to this degree will often pull out large chunks of fur. Once again, normal feline nipples are very small and pink in color, almost like beauty marks. If they become large, quite noticeable, extremely sore, and your cat is not in heat, pregnant, or nursing, a visit to the vet is recommended. Being proactive will always be in style. 
And if you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.